All right, we're crushing it here at Tappanoff Farm. That's for you, Curtis Stone, if you ever watch this, which I, you probably won't. <laughs> Officially say we're crushing it here at Tappanoff Farm. Over the last uh, month or so, we've been picking various varieties of apples that we've got growing here from apple trees that we planted a good five years or so ago. Plus a whole bunch of apples that were donated to us from one of our uh, Vegbox members, who is also a Patreon member. So thank you, Clements. We can't wait to crush them all together to make one interesting blend of apple juice. So that's mostly what we're going to be doing with these apples. We're milling them up. Uh, to make apple juice and to make cider. This was a really generous and well needed present from my mum, uh, an early Christmas present. This is something that we've wanted to get here for a long, long time. So this is a apple press and an apple crusher or scratter. And uh, the crusher, the apple crusher can fit on top of the press so we can mill the apples up into smaller pieces, which makes it a lot easier to, to um, press for juice. And the milled pieces fall straight into um, the press. So Rosa's just been crushing them all up. It's made by Weigel Press, um, and this is the cast iron version. Um, and it really pays off, I think, having this sturdy press. I think it's a 12 liter capacity uh, that it does. And from one full um, 12 liter barrel, we get meant to get up to about a gallon of juice. We stored the apples for quite some weeks waiting for this press to arrive. So they've dried up a little bit, so they're maybe not as juicy as they could be. But um, we're getting plenty of juice, which you can see in here. So there's the juice. Uh, what have we got so far? Five litres. About five litres, that's pretty good. And then this is the pulp. It comes out in these big, thick, compressed cheeses um, so we're repressing some of that pulp and also we're going to feed that to the animals so what's that there then you got yeah pressing it down i'm just pressing it down just like a cheese the mum is uh, doing the job at cutting up all the apples sorting them out taking off any bad bits if we only had pigs, because there's so much um, pieces here, the apple waste that the pigs would love, so maybe next year we're gonna be getting pigs. that you can move the kind of pressing weight out of the way to fit on the, um, the crusher and also for pulling out this barrel part for cleaning and things. You need to close up the strainer bag which my mum made us today which is great. Um, what's it made out of mum? Curtain netting. <laughs> Net curtain, perfect. And then this then just moves over, clicks into place and just fasten there. We want to get our bucket, that's important. We'll be able to catch the juice in the bucket. Pressing begins. And this is the best bit. Here it comes. Crushing it. Crushing it. Really 
great having this double handle that you can move around to get good purchase and you can screw it to the ground as well which maybe we should have done screwed it to this table we were just too excited to get crushing so the next stage we're going to take this juice we've already got some bottles that we've sterilized for a fresh juice and we've got a pasteurizer so we're going to pasteurize them just to give them some good shelf life that's really simple and then uh, the other thing that we want to try doing is making some cider and it's most simple we can just put the fresh juice into um, a demijohn and let that naturally ferment with the yeasts and the bacteria that are already present in the apple juice so far we've been pressing three different varieties of apple here just now we've got discovery uh, which is a very sweet juicy uh, apple um, we've got one called Ellison's orange which again is a is an eater and very juicy and sweet but develops a clove uh, uh, like flavor um, when you've stored it for a while and we've got the apple variety that a friend gave to us sure I don't think we're 100% sure that what that was but to me it looks like a discovery or a Katie apple but we've also got some crab apples which are quite sweet for crab apples and we're gonna blend those crab apples in as well so this this juice here is going off to be bottled for um, drinking juice and then whatever's left, we're gonna add some more of these apples plus the crab apples to, to make a nice blend for a gallon or two of cider. Ooh, I can't. <laughs> I feel like I should be helping. Should I be helping? Alright folks, that's great. That's eight bottles of freshly pressed tapple juice. Thanks to Rose's mom, Glennis, for that fantastic uh, label for our future apple juice company. <laughs> tapple juice, love it. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed that. Thanks again for all the support through Patreon and um, we'll see you soon. Great, that's eight bottles of freshly pressed <laughs> I'm freshly pushed. <laughs>